Welcome back to another Swole Osmo video. Today, we're gonna be going over a much requested video, which is how to beat match coverage in Madden 23. Outside of man coverage, I believe match is the most meta coverage in the game right now, and a lot of people are struggling with it. No one's running any of the obscure matches like cover six uh, or something along those lines. And remember, cover six is just cover four quarters on one side, cover two on the other. So all of these concepts, will still apply to cover six, cover nine, and things like that. Now, not many people are also running cover four palms because it gets beat over the top really easily. The play that everyone's actually running, I'm gonna showcase in a moment, is cover four quarters. Now, I'm gonna showcase how you can beat that cover four quarters and that match coverage that everybody seems to be running nowadays. Let's get straight into it. So I'm gonna showcase it out of trips tight end because a lot of the alignments that you guys will likely be running will be out of a trips alignment. I'll also showcase a couple bunch beaters because I know that's a very meta formation and it kind of resembles a lot of tight formations. Might even be able to go in tight slots. We'll see. So what people are running is they're running probably cover four quarters and they're running it out of nickel normal, which is the best way to run it. And they have match on, no zone drops. If they have zone drops, it's not actually match. Also, be aware that some people may be running cover four quarters on your previous play because you're playing in, let's say, all pro. You see that they're running cover four quarters, but it doesn't seem like anyone's trailing. That could mean that they actually have zone drops on and they're just running cover four. So keep that or cover four drop. So just keep that in mind. You might actually be playing cover four drop, but think you're playing cover four quarters because your opponent disguised his coverage in that way. Sorry, my dog's walking on the side there. He's got his uh, paws on the hard floor. But... Now, let's just go into how we can beat it. So with cover four quarters, one of my favorite ways to beat it is the from left to right, the out route, always set on the outside, the streak, and the corner route. On the other side of the field, I don't think it matters super like a ton, but what I like to do is put a curl on my tight end or just have a route on my tight end, which I think distracts the other quarter and ensures that it'll work. So the concept, the concept all it is, is from left to right, out route, streak, and of course, you got the circle receiver on the corner route. And then we have the curl. What will be wide open here against cover four quarters is Darden on the corner route. So everything will not be, boom. So everything will match to the inside and you're very, it's very easy for you to just throw that corner route. So just look, watch the uh, video here or the replay, I should say, about what happens here. So right here, this streak will take this quarter back. So this quarter is now responsible for this streak this out route will make ensure that the quarter flat has to play it. And more importantly, it'll distract this outside quarter for a long period of time. Then this outside quarter will not run to the corner route. So keep that in mind. He won't cover the corner route, nor will he pick it. He's actually running towards that streak. So he goes from out route to streak. And that allows you to throw that corner route for an easy bomb. So I'm gonna run it one more time. I'm actually gonna put, let's put the tight end on an in route, right? Playing with your tight end on this concept, the main concept is out route, street, corner route, but the other way to run this concept is just to put, try different routes on your tight end and see what works, because I think it's relatively formation specific. So I'm gonna do it one more time with the tight end on a, yep, tight end on an in route, and it seems just a little bit more open. So that's the concept there, and that's the one of the easiest ways to beat match. Now I'm gonna showcase another great concept versus match coverage. And that is from left to right, out route, corner route, streak. Now this one's really effective, but you also need the tight end or the other receiver on the other side of the field to be on an in route or a drag or something like that. So the concept looks like this. Once again, the circle receiver darting will be wide open for a easy, huge gain or likely a touchdown against match coverage. So right there, we got a quick 40 yard gain. Usually it's actually a touchdown. Darden is just quite slow if you freeform that. Probably a touchdown, and I'm at my own, like, what am I at? Like the opponent's 45-yard line. Okay. So what will happen here is this corner route will distract the quarter flat. And eventually, you could actually, you might be able to throw this corner route. It's a little risky, but you might be able to throw it upfield, and then it'll distract that quarter. Now, this quarter here actually bluffs for a moment. Not bluffs, I guess, uh, stutters for a moment. So right here, he, he'll look to cover the corner route. The corner route will distract him enough and you're able to throw that streak right over top of them. So those are my favorite concepts versus match, but there are some other concepts that if someone is really keying into that circle receiver or that inside receiver against mass coverage. One of, the other, one of my other favorites is the streak from the tight end, and then it's kind of a, I believe, a flat, and I'm just gonna slant the receiver crossing the field. 
Now, as long as I snap it at the right time, you'll notice that I'm able to throw that slant really late, just like that, up the field. The linebacker matched him there, and it was really easy for me to throw it. Now, it looks a little bit more risky, and I think it's risky out of trips, so I'm actually gonna showcase it out of something like gun tight. So gun tight slots is when the double crossers are so effective because they're all coming from the interior of the field. I have hot rail master, so I'm able to showcase this pretty easily. So all I'm gonna do is crosser, this guy, streak the tight end, crosser Godwin and flat Evans here. So the concept looks like that. And one of these crossers will become wide open very late. So right there, the match is late and you have Chris Godwin for an easy 30 to 40 yard gain. Now I'm trying to provide you concepts, not individual plays that you can go to, because if you conceptually understand how to beat match, you'll be able to beat match in your formation, whatever formation you might be in. So I want to prove to you that these concepts really do work. So I'm actually going to call, what do we have scat here? One of the best plays in the game. Where's scat? All right, here we are, scat. So here's cover four quarters. We're going to streak our tight end, out route the receiver here. The tight end should be wide open, as long as I streak Godwin here, for a pretty easy touchdown. He's a little slow, so it's very difficult for me to throw that. But in general, your tight end in Mutt, probably Casper or someone else, will be open for that touchdown. Now, another thing that's really important against match that you'll notice is highly effective is you can do a lot of concepts like this where you have a streak on your outside receiver, a corner route, an out route, and an, a, a, oh my gosh, an in route trailing that out route. Now, what this allows you to do is that that streak will push back that outside or um, uh, yeah, that outside quarter. The inside quarter is too late to cover the corner route and the quarter flat will likely cover the out route here. So it's really easy for you to just throw that. Of course, I overthrow it, but that inside quarter would be responsible for your quarter or your uh, corner route there, which leaves you for a really easy gain as long as you push back that outside quarter because the inside quarter won't be able to get to your corner route. Right there, we got bumped, but as you see, it's still wide open. So utilizing concepts where you have a streak and then a corner route below it, as long as that corner route has, is a little shorter and has a little bit distance from the inside quarter, you're able to throw it. Now let's try a couple of these concepts in gun bunch, which is amazing versus match 90% of the time. And there's also a concept I'm gonna be going over that's really effective against all match defenses and it's universal. Now, let's call corner strike here. Let's go all cover four quarters. Doesn't really matter because I'm just gonna hot route out of it really. So I'm gonna streak Rudolph, corner route, uh, who is this gauge? And we're gonna have the in route from Godwin here. Now right here, as long as it matches correctly that, see, it matched perfectly. Okay, so we know, we know now that that concept doesn't work in bunch. Okay, let's try something a little bit different. So now that you know they're in this, and you know that outside quarter is gonna be responsible for the corner route on Evans here. So if Mike Evans does have an advantage against this quarter, it's likely that you're able to just beat him on the break. Now right there, had to highball it and jump in front, you might be able to throw that. Once again, not a match beater. And I'm gonna showcase how you lap through it here too. So let's try a different match beater. Let's call the double crosser concept. So I think I can just put a post here. Let's do out route, or flat route, and let's put a streak right here. So right here, we're double siding and we're running that kind of double crosser concept. I'm gonna put a slant because I can't put a deep crosser on him. And we're just gonna look for one of these crossers. So right there, R1, I'm gonna showcase on instant replay, was wide open. So now you know that the double crosser concept in bunch is fantastic. So we have this crosser here and we have this slant. Now we're just gonna wait half a second, this crosser will be wide open. And if you wait a little bit longer, the slant would actually be open in this area of the field. So that's a concept you can use. Now, a lot of bunch players to beat match will do something like this where they will pull out motion out this receiver, put a corner route on R1, and very similar to like the U-trip scat combo, is they'll run something like this. As long, the corner route may be a little bit too deep, but you're no, you'll notice that the corner route is able to just get outside of that quarter for an easy possessing catch. Now that's kind of how I would beat match and bunch. I know there's a lot of crazy match beaters, like in the Washington playbook, there's the clear out play, and that play, as long as you put an out route on the outside receiver, is an instant touchdown versus cover four quarters that you have definitely played hundreds of times. 
Now, the concept that you've really all been waiting for, and this is how to completely negate match, as long as you're good against zone drop coverage, you'll be able to negate match this way. So I'm actually gonna call corner strike once again. And now corner strike, especially to the short side, is really, really good against cover four drop to the short side of the field. The streak, or I'm gonna put a fade here, will suck inside the quarter, suck inside, a little sus, but it'll pull inside the outside quarter, allowing you to throw that corner out. But since it's match, it'll actually get bagged. You'll notice I'm not really able to throw that, and it's probably a pick, right? But if you put do something called a four by one, where you put four receivers to one side, the matching principles will be negated and it'll act like a cover four drop coverage. Now, a lot of elite Madden players will do this because it's much easier to beat drop coverage this year than it is match. So as soon as I do that, you'll notice that this quarter route is wide open. I overthrew it a ton. My free form with Tom Brady is terrible, but it's wide open. So as soon as you put Ford receivers, eligible receivers, not your old lineman, eligible receivers on one side of the field. So in this case, I'm motioning over my running back. It'll negate the matching principles on that side of the field and allow you to get an easy gain, just like you're playing cover four drop. Now this concept applies to any formation. So if I were to hop in trips once again, I'm able to do the same thing. So you're able to utilize concepts that would normally just beat cover four. So let's say you're playing trips tight end and you want to run slot corner, right? You're playing cover four quarters, it's bothering you. All you have to do is motion over this running back here, streak Evans, just like you're playing, you know, cover four drop and just look for a circle late. So that streak will take back the quarter and you're able to throw that late. That inside quarter played a little close to it, but it still negated the match enough to the point where you're able to throw it. That really just concludes the video. I hope you guys enjoyed and really never lose to match again. Make sure to remember those concepts, apply them to your formation. First, apply the streak corner route concepts, and then I would apply putting crosses in strategic places. And then I would also have some concepts of four by one, which just completely negates match and will throw your opponent right off. I hope you guys enjoyed. If I helped at all, leave a like on the video. If you're looking for more banger tips like this that you will see nowhere else, hit the sub button, hit that notification bell. It'll help me out a ton and it'll make sure you get the notifications and the right Madden tips at the right times. Thank you for watching the video and have a great rest of your day.